Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. You got Jake here, aka the Kentucky Dipper, coming at you with the first introduction to two series. Uh, this would kind of fall under one, it's a fine cut, two, it's the first actual tub of something we're going to be reviewing, and that's right, it is Stoker's Fine Cut Wintergreen, ladies and gentlemen. And this is our second go around at trying this video. I wasn't really pleased with the first one, so we're gonna we're gonna just redo it here. So right off the bat, you have your standard 12 ounce tub, which holds ab about 10 cans of dip, depending on how you dip. You know, it's equals out to about 10 cans. Um, the green on there is a little lighter than what you would find on the actual long cut winter green. Um, but yeah, it there it is, fine cut. You got your classic Bobby Stoker logo on there. 100% um, American tobacco, finer cut, more flavor. And of course the motto, a great dip at a fair price. Now, as all Stoker's tubs do, this one comes with the refillable can, which um, I'm going to go ahead and say now, I highly recommend if you don't use the refillable can, using some kind of can, you're going to need to use a can for this stuff because whereas the long cut Stoker's, you can kind of just reach in the tub and grab your dip out of there without worrying about it this stuff's a little different it is a fine cut so you're gonna need to pack it so we do have our refillable can these are not the best they're pretty cheap feeling cheaply made but it'll get the job done um that's filled up and ready to go but let's go ahead and uh take a look underneath the lid here because this stuff, this stuff is, uh, I'm going to go ahead and say it's a whole different ball game than Stoker's Long Cut Winter Green, which we have reviewed here on the channel. But as you can see, I'll pull this little clump out. This is the consistency, and it is very, A, soft. It is very soft to the touch. It is B, moist, and C, very consistent. Like, the cut on that is really consistent. I don't know if you can see on my fingers there, but it's pretty much all fine cut dip we got here. So, the smell actually smells... Uh, in a way, it smells a little different. Uh, as well in comparison to the long cut winter green I would almost say this smells more like a Copenhagen winter green or even a grizzly winter green um, let's go ahead and get us a pinch now I'm not a big fine cut dipper but as you can see this stuff packs pretty well um, packs very well and we're just gonna get us a pinch here pinch ability is good go and shake off the access there got us a little pinch we're gonna just throw this in see what we think So, right off the bat, flavor-wise, this is nothing at all um, like what you would expect um, out of a Stoker's Wintergreen product. Uh, there is no comparison between this and the Long Cut Wintergreen. I feel like they have two very separate flavors 
This one, in a way, and I'm not going to say exactly, but in a way, it kind of has the, it reminds me of the Timberwolf Cool Wintergreen, just the flavor. It's like more of a cool wintergreen flavor as opposed to like a rich wintergreen, like the long cut. I feel like the long cut, it's very rich, it's sweet, and it's like really heavy wintergreen. This one, it's more mild, I would say. It's still a pretty potent wintergreen taste going on here. But I would say it reminds me a little more of kind of like a, a wife saver wintergreen flavored candy. Um, It's just really different. Um, and there's not as much tobacco flavor there. Um, I feel like with the Stoker's Long Cut Wintergreen, there's definitely a more heavy, you get that dark fired tobacco flavor. And I think that's what makes it so unique. But I think because this is fine cut, and they may have a different process to making it too, but I really want to just say that this is nothing like that at all. And it's actually really good. Um, and I'm not big on winter greens and I'm not, like I said, I'm not a fine cut dipper, but... I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if I end up dipping this whole tub. I may not do it all at once, but it's pretty good. Now, finding this stuff, it's probably gonna be a little hard, um, depending on where you're at, depending on where you get your dip from. For me, I get it from the tobacco store and a can a tub of this i think it ran me about 15 dollars um for this one tub so you're paying 15 dollars for 10 cans of dip pretty good deal um and all in all like this is this is if you like winter greens and you like fine cuts this is probably the dip for you because man it's it's good it's good stuff the only thing i'll say is it's i don't know if it, if this is a tub that's been sitting a, a while or something but it, it's not that juicy and that might just be because it's a fine cut as well but it's not uh as juicy as your typical stokers is it's just kind of it's just kind of, like I said before, mild. You're mildly spinning, mild flavor. And it's not too artificial either. Like it's not really, I, I mean, you get a good, it's a good wintergreen flavor. I, I will give it that. Um, All in all, it's a fantastic product. Um, if you're able to find some, highly recommend you pick it up. And uh, we're going to go ahead and rate it on our scale of 1 to 10. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to give it an 8 just because it's not very juicy, but it's very pleasant. Um, and where it is a fine cut, it's not really my preferred way to dip. Um, you can't really move it around much. I mean, it's it's a messy dip. And if you don't pinch it right and all that, you, you're gonna end up with a mess. Either way, another Stoker's product down and we have yet to have one that disappoints. So that speaks volumes. And yeah, I mean, you can't go wrong. Anything you pick up from Stoker's just about 
there are a couple products I've heard some things about, but I'm going to hold my opinion for if and when we ever review those here. But, yeah, go pick you up a tub. Uh, you can't, that's another thing I'm going to add. This is the only way you can find this stuff. Uh, out of all their dips, including the Fine Cut Natural, you can find that in the cans, but this one you can only find in the tubs, which we'll probably deduct um, and go into our 8 out of 10 score as well, just for sourceability. You know, some people may not want to dip a whole tub of this stuff. I know I probably won't dip it all in one sitting, you know, but when i'm in a pinch and i need a pinch i'm gonna reach for that <laughs> that's all i'm gonna say but that's about it for this review y'all i appreciate you watching be sure to leave a like here on the channel if you enjoy these videos that way you're supporting the channel hit the subscribe button while you're at it that way you're up to date and know what's going on anytime i'm posting here on the channel I'm Jake, a.k.a. the Kentucky Dipper, and I will see you guys in the next video. Y'all be safe.